Today, we're talking about neuroplasticity. It's just a big fancy word that refers to the brain's ability to adapt and change. In fact, your brain makes changes all the time. And it's been happening since you were a baby. When you learn a new skill, the connections in your brain physically change. For example, when you were first learning to walk, your brain had to figure out what connections it needed to make so that you could take a step. And before you knew it, you were walking. Same thing happens when you learn to read and even when you get better at a video game. Now, the key way that we're talking about changing our brain today is in how we deal with stress. In order to accomplish this change, it's important to set reasonable goals and give yourself the time and space to be successful. So start small. Give your body and your brain time to learn different ways to react to stress. Think about it. If you were learning to play basketball, you wouldn't start with the hardest shot first, right? The same thing applies here. Your body needs time and repeated small successes in order to learn new ways to deal with stress. The act of a small success tells your body that you're okay. When you practice with moderate, predictable stress, you're teaching your body that you can cope. And speaking of stress, did you know that your body has a built-in way to tell you when you're experiencing stress? That's your heart rate. When you're in a stressful situation, you'll be able to feel your heart beating faster. When that happens, give yourself the time and space to be able to calm down. Take deep breaths, slowly allowing your heart rate to come back to a calm state. Give it a try. Breathe in for a count of four. One, two, three, four. Then breathe out for a count of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Breathing out all the air in your lungs helps to calm the body. Try breathing this way for one to three minutes anytime you feel your heart rate jump in a stressful situation. 